Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be attempting to do the Bratz doll challenge. Now I say attempting because I mean attempting like I'm not just going to be doing like a kind of simple look. I'm basically going to be doing like the James Charles version of the Bratz doll challenge and I'm a little scared because I don't know if I can pull it off. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, but I guess either way it'll be entertainment for you guys whether this is a fail or not So I'm not saying I'm gonna be copying James Charles, but I'm definitely gonna be Doing basically exactly what he did but like with different colors I guess I already have the picture of the Bratz doll look that I chose to do and I will insert a picture right here but Yeah, so I'm basically gonna be watching his video as I do this and then just kind of like using my own colors and stuff like that, that match with the picture that I chose. So yeah, I guess we'll see how this goes. So first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair back so I can have that out of my face. I'll be right back. All right, so hair is back, so let's get started. By the way, if you haven't checked out James Charles' video, definitely go check it out. It's crazy the amount of talent he has. Like, I'm really hoping by watching his video, I can somehow pull this off. When I first saw it, I was like shook because <laughs> it was so realistic. Like, it's crazy. I'll insert a picture of the finished look that he did. It like looks creepy, but it looks so cool at the same time. And it's just crazy how realistic like the eyes look. So I'm really, really hoping that I don't fail. Let's get started. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face with some e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Now, I don't need to look at his video just yet, obviously. This is like the easiest part that I'm gonna do today. So next thing I'm gonna do is my foundation. I just prefer to do my foundation first. In his video, he didn't do that first, but I'm going to. At least then I'm not copying him as much. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my L'Oreal Paris Pro Matte Foundation. This is the shade 102, um, Shell Beige. And I'm going to apply that with my Beauty Blender. Alright, so I know that looked like a crazy amount of foundation, but the goal is to make myself look as doll-like and flawless as possible, so I put a lot of foundation, so I, I don't usually put this much, I promise. I know it looked crazy, and I might have put a little bit too much, like, I wanted to put a little extra, but I think I put a little bit too extra, but that's okay, we blended it out, and it looks fine now. Next step. So I'm gonna hold off on concealer for now and I'm gonna move on straight to my brows. I don't think I'm gonna have to erase my brows like he did in his video because they're basically the same shape as the picture already. So I'm just gonna leave my brows alone. I'm not gonna put glue and all that all over them and try to cover them up. I'm just going to do my brows basically the same way that I normally do them.
Now I'm just adding a tiny bit of setting powder to the front of my brows just to kind of lighten them up because in the picture she has that kind of um, ombre brow effect where it's lighter and then it gets darker. So I'm just adding the setting powder to lighten up the front. By the way, I'm using my Morphe brow palette and I'm going to take the darker shade. This is what I normally do with my brows anyway. Um, I'm taking that darker shade just to darken up the rest of my brows a little bit more like in the picture and I did elongate the tail of my brow a little bit more than I usually do so brows are done which means I now have to start watching James Charles video because we are starting the eyes so first thing I'm gonna do is take some makeup revolution concealer and I'm going to apply that to my eyelids to prep them And then using the James Charles palette, I'm just going to go in with the shade Canvas right here and I'm going to apply that all over the lids just to set that concealer down. Alright, so it looks like the first thing that he does is take a kind of light brown pencil and outline the shape of his new eye. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So that looks absolutely crazy, but I've kind of mapped out the shape of the eye, I guess. Um, this is definitely going to look insane. Even though I know how to do makeup, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing right now. Alright, so now I have to start packing on the eyeshadow. It looks like in the picture of my brat stall that I chose, it's kind of a mix of pink and purple and a little bit of white. So I'm going to start off by using a pink shade. So I'm going to use a mix of the shade Pinkity Drinkity and the shade Skip from James Charles's palette. And I'm going to pack that right on the lid. I know that looks crazy and it doesn't look exactly like the color from the picture, but I'm gonna work on that. I just want to get the pigment on there first and then I'm gonna work at making it look more like the color in the picture. Alright, so using my Morphe M441 brush, I'm just gonna go in and slightly blend that out. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is the shade Love That. And I'm going to apply that into my fake crease. This is like just to kind of darken it up because it does have some purple in the look as well. I'm just going to use my Morphe M433 brush to do that. This is looking so crazy. Okay, since the crease is a little bit more like kind of a light pink slash white color, I'm going to take some of the shade Flashback <laughs> right here and I'm going to try to lighten up the inner part of my eye. That's looking crazy, but let's continue. All right, so I'm just gonna take a mix of these two purple shades here because it still isn't looking as purple. Like It's more of a dark purple in the picture. So I'm going to take some of the shade Escape and some of the shade um, Single, and I'm gonna apply those two to my outer corner as well. All 
right, so I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. So let's create our wing now. So in the picture here, she doesn't have as much of a wing as the brass doll that James Charles did, but I'm still gonna create a wing, just I guess not as bold, but it's probably gonna come out bold anyways because I'm gonna keep overlining my freaking wing and it's just gonna be a mess. Oh well. I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner today. I look so crazy. Oh my god. Okay. I need more eyeliner. So now we have to bring it down here also. Give me one second to fix this off camera. I really don't know what's happening right now. So I already did the crease line. Hopefully we can fix that up a little bit later. That's about as good as the wing is gonna get. It's a little way bigger than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Hopefully this is all gonna come together at some point. I keep forgetting that I still have to do the other eye after this. Next step. In James's video, he uses a liquid lipstick, a white liquid lipstick, to fill in the bottom part of his eye here. <laughs> I don't have a white liquid lipstick, so I'm gonna use my NYX white liquid liner and pray that it looks somewhat okay. That does not look bad. Okay. All right, maybe it's coming together. definitely starting to crack and like settle a lot into my <laughs> into the lines in my eyes oh I can't smile I can't smile or it's gonna settle more okay um I guess that's okay um I just won't zoom you guys in hopefully you can't even really notice it from afar I'm just gonna set that into place really quick with some more of the shade flashback from the James Charles palette the white shade Oh, this feels so horrible under my eye. I wish I had a white liquid lipstick. I feel like it probably would have worked better. It's creasing so much under my eye. It looks horrible. I'm just going to um, take my NYX Jumbo White Eyeliner Crayon and I'm going to line my waterline. Sorry, I couldn't talk. But next, he traced a black line right underneath the white so that's what I'm gonna do wish me luck all right that's it's not too bad I'm really hating this crease line right here I made it too thick and I kind of screwed it up right here but hopefully I can fix it with some shadow later on. I'm just not even gonna worry about it right now. So now it's time to draw in the eyeball, which is gonna be very difficult because of the fact this white eyeliner gets so crusty and it's gonna be really hard to draw an eyeball over the top of it. It was already hard to draw this evenly, but we're gonna do our best. I guess from far away it'll look good. And also my lower lashes are really long. I think James Charles said the same thing in his video. Um, which makes this even harder. All 
right, that's not too bad, I guess. Um, I might have drawn it a little bit too far this way. Should I leave it or should I try messing with it more? I don't want to mess with it because it's already really hard to like draw over this. If I squint, I go like this maybe. Let's just start filling it in. I'm gonna take the shade Punch Me, which is the shade right here, and attempt to fill in that eyeball. That's not too bad, I guess. I don't know, it's just not looking right. Something is off. I did fix the eyeball a little bit. It was a little bit too far out, I thought, so I just put some white over it, but it still doesn't look right. Hopefully it'll come together. But now I have to draw in the pupil, so once again, wish me luck. Maybe it's starting to come together. Like if I squint. Oh my god, yes, if I squint. I mean, at least it looks something like what I want it to look like. You guys see it? Okay, let's just move on. All right, so then he adds a white dot right next to the pupil, so I'm just gonna do that also. All right, so now I'm just gonna start doing the other eye. Um, I'm probably not going to film it because it's going to take forever, but I will see you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so, um, holy crap. I think I did it. It looks way better if I squint. You guys see the difference? This is so weird. I can't stop looking at myself. I was so afraid this was going to be a disaster, but... Oh my god, it actually looks like Brad's doll eyes. Like, my face ID doesn't even recognize me. So I'd say that's a win. I literally just had to go look at myself in like five different mirrors. This is crazy. We're not done yet though, so I have to like calm down just a little bit. All right, so and now it's time to do concealer. I would use my Makeup Revolution concealer, but I am out of it. Like there's like nothing left in here and I'm waiting for more to come in the mail. So I'm going to use instead my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And now I'm just going to set that into place with some Ramel London Stay Matte Setting Powder. Alright, so now I'm just going to add a tiny bit of bronzer and blush. My brow style seems to have more blush than anything, so I'm going to add more blush than bronzer. And she also seems to have a few freckles, not much. But if you look closely, I'll insert the picture again. If you look closely, you can kind of see some freckles on her face. So I am going to add a couple freckles. So I just used some NYX matte bronzer and now I'm going to use some NYX blush. This is the shade Amber. And just to blend that out a little bit better, I'm gonna take a big fluffy blending brush. This is from Beauty 360. And I'm just gonna kind of buff that into my skin and blend it out. All right, so I have a weird way of creating the freckles. So I'm going to take some little nail scissors and carefully use the point, the tip of the scissors, take some brown eyeshadow and create a few freckles. She has a few just like under her eyes. All 
All right, so there we have it. There is our little fake freckles like in the picture. So I am just doing a kind of very slight nose contour. We want it to look more like the doll. And I am gonna add just a tiny, tiny bit of highlighter as well. I'm just gonna add the highlighter that's in the James Charles palette. Um, mostly just on my nose because it doesn't really look like she has any on her cheeks or anything in, in the picture. Alright, so now I'm just going to use my Morphe M213 brush, and in the picture she has the purple eyeshadow going like only halfway. I am going to bring it slightly under here. So that's looking pretty good. Um, oh my god. Now I'm just going to go over, like James did, the crease, our fake crease. Um, but instead of using the shade Spooky, which is the black shade, I'm going to use the same purple shade, the dark purple and go right over that for a little bit more dimension. So when I went to go look at the picture to see how the bottom lashes were, I realized it does have some black going along. So I am going to take a tiny bit of black shadow, um, the shade Spooky, and bring that right along. And I almost just broke this brush. I was like bending it so hard that I heard it like crack sort of. Oops. So it looks like she has four lashes for, on each side, four bottom lashes. So I'm going to draw those now. Why is this like one of the hardest parts? Like James was complaining about this too, like he messed up and it looked bad. This looks bad too, like why? How could I have done all this, but like this is the part that's like messing everything up. I don't understand. Oh my gosh, that looks so bad. Okay, I'm gonna fix that off camera. I'll be right back. All right guys, so that's literally as good as it's gonna get. I don't know why this part was so hard, but oh well, that's as good as it's gonna get. So now I have to figure out what lashes I wanna put on. I don't really have any like big lashes, um, like those like kind of Halloween looking ones, but I think I'm gonna try to look for a pair that I don't care about anymore and I'm gonna cut them and kind of curl them and then place them halfway on my outer, on the outer part of my eye. <laughs> I'm so stressed out right now. I'll be right back. I am going to go search for a decent pair of lashes to use. So I found these lashes. Um, <laughs> these were just some Coco lashes, an old pair that I had. They were in the style a more before I destroyed them. Um, but I tried curling them. I might have to use that trick that James used in his video, which was he took them, sprayed them with hairspray, and then curled them, which I thought was pretty cool. That's a neat idea. Um, but I might have to do that because I already tried curling them like a bunch of times and they are not wanting to stay curled. And if I place them on like this, they're gonna look very droopy. I'm going to place them farther up, like where the eyeliner is, so they're more upright, I guess. Oh, 
that's not bad. Okay, cool. That actually looks way better than I thought. I added some mascara. That's good. It looks exactly like um, the eyelashes that my Bratz doll has in her picture. It only goes out like this way. It's not like the full lash, you know, so that's actually really good. Okay, next step is lips. Actually, last step. Thank God, I've been sitting here for like three hours. So uh, my Bratz doll has red lips in the picture, so I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale. This is the shade Paris. I'm going to drastically overline my lips, so it's gonna look crazy, but I already look crazy, so. Hmm. This actually might be a little bit lighter than in the picture, but I don't have a shade that exactly matches that color. Like I have a darker red lip, and then I have this kind of brighter red lipstick. <laughs> I look psycho right now. Hold on, I'm gonna go get my ColourPop lipstick because I feel like it's gonna work a little bit better for this look. I don't really like this lipstick too much. For one, I just don't like the smell. And I just don't like the formula as much as I like the ColourPop one. So let me go find it because I think I left it somewhere laying in the house. All right, so this is the ColourPop um, Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ariba. I think this might match a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit darker, so it matches a little bit more. I tried to do the little thing that my Bratz doll has, but I think I kind of just messed it up and now I gotta fix it. Cause now I just look like, like the Joker or something. I don't even know. Let me fix this, I'll be back. All right, well that took forever, but I finally got the lips the way I like them, or at least for the most part, the way I like them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's about as close as they're gonna get to the picture. Um, and I also added two little like, faded out lines right here because the bread still had that in the photo also so i thought i'd make it look a little bit more like the doll so now really the only thing left is to add the white little dot thingies so i'm gonna use the same nyx white eyeliner to do that i'm just gonna wait for that to dry and then i'm gonna add a tiny bit of like powder over the top of it just so it's a little less harsh Alright guys, so, oh my god, that is the finished result. I really have to squint in order for it to look like completely realistic. Like if I'm like this, it's like super real and it's actually really, really creepy. But it's also super cool, what the heck? I'm so proud of myself, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. So I'm going to put on a wig now, a blonde wig. <laughs> And I don't have a red hat like she does in the picture. So I'm just gonna put like a black beanie on because whatever. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. Oh my God. <laughs> I was not expecting this outcome. Don't mind the fact that I don't know how to put a wig on. I just kind of threw it on and put a beanie over it. It sucks, I don't have a red hat. And I thought I had a pearl necklace, but I don't. So I just used this choker, but I mean, come on guys, this is pretty accurate. Like, my camera is gonna be full with how many pictures I take of this. Oh my God. All right, so let's do a side by side with me and with my Brad stall. How are we looking? Like twins? We better be after four hours of sitting here. Oh 
Okay, I gotta get a slow-mo of this. Alright guys, well that is the finished brat stall challenge. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I can't stop looking at myself, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's so creepy, but it's so cool. I almost like how I look. Is that weird? Is it weird that I like how I look right now? I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to insert um, a slow-mo video of me posing with this look, and then I'm going to go take a thousand pictures. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.